Hey, you think homeless people ever have sex with each other? Probably, but I don't want to think about it. I know for a fact they do. I spend most of my day breaking up in-progress homeless sex. I bet it stank. Hey, what's up with the menus at the Cheesecake Factory? Why they gotta be so big? Yeah, and why does their menu have ads? I go there for dinner, not to shop for appliances. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? All right, you guys, podcast time. We got the equipment and the perfect business plan. Give our show away for free and tell no one how to find it. Ready? And... Hello? And Joe Swanson. Yelza! All right, Quagmire, what do you got for us? Let's make a clamory. Hmm, Velcro shoes. Ooh, wee, this is a tough one. I remember the first time I saw me a pair of crows. They were on the feet of Spunky Tessic. That's why Spunky made the change. That's the thing about Velcro shoes. Quiet going on, noisy coming off. That rip! Spunky's mama thought he was an intruder. And just for Spunky. So to answer the question, I'm gonna have to say both yes and no. What the hell was that? I know, Cleveland, you ruined the whole podcast. Yeah, if I wanted to hear a black guy ramble like a lunatic, I'd watch Family Feud. Yeah, I mean, that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. You know, this is exciting. Our second podcast. All right, but listen up, Cleveland. No more of your long stories, all right? Yeah, people aren't used to boring podcasts. Welcome once again to Thanks for the Clamories. Okay, common question that everybody thinks about. How many fourth graders do you think you could take at once? Oh, no way, a hundred and you're dead. Why are we fighting now? Because they're idiots. Did they say something about my mother? What? Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll say yes. Oh, just da 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 All right, tell you what I do? I back into a bathroom stall and just start kicking. Dead, dead, dead. Why are we talking about killing kids? People are gonna hate this. Peter, do something else quick. I, I'll, uh, uh, what if I play some kick-ass music? You got, you're playing two songs at once. What even is this? I, I, I don't know. I'm just pressing buttons. I gotta admit, it does have a groove. Look, those people are even dancing to it. Help me! Help hey, me! what's that song you're playing? I don't know. It's just random garbage from my computer. Oh, you're a DJ. That's perfect. I own a nightclub for cocaine people and Armenians. What the hell was that? We're supposed to be doing a podcast. Peter, I don't know if you noticed, but the podcast was a disaster. Yeah, and we were looking for something to do as a foursome. Hey, but hold on. I got four quarters on golden tea. <sighs> what am I doing? Good job, Joe. Hole in one. He just keeps switching clubs. Kids, time for dinner. Where's your father? I think he's getting ready for his DJ gig. His what? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I drink vodka and Gatorade to that. Peter, since when are you a DJ? Since some guy came in the clam and heard my awesome jams and beats. Peter, knock it off. You're a middle-aged man. You can't be a DJ. Why not? I could totally be a DJ. For God's sake, John Travolta's a pilot. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. <laughs> what? 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 This place is awesome. Totally. Hey, did you see Tom Sizemore in the bathroom with a ladle? You've been playing the exact same song for 14 hours. That means you're great. I was right about you guys. I don't care about that. But listen, there's a big music festival coming up. You've got some mad DJ skills. You could be our headliner. Peter, I was plowing this college chick last night, and I saw this flyer on her mini-fridge. All right, you know what? You guys were riding my coattails. I carried you as long as I could, but Rob Kardashian's gonna be at this thing, so I gotta be at my best. Now get out of here. I gotta practice. It's not loud until you can feel your head bones. If you can't hack it, take a hike. Remember to tell everyone who did this. Um, who are you guys supposed to be? Oh, come on, I'm James K. Polk. He's Millard Fillmore. He's William Henry Harrison. Ah, oh, damn it, Cleveland. Now we gotta kill them all. This guy gets it first. Ugh, didn't you hear the alarm? Oh, God, I can't hear Garfield. I've gone deaf. Hearing? This is a hospital. I'm not a lawyer. Oh, for God's sake, is my husband deaf? Well, there's only one way to find out definitively. Hey, stupid deaf guy! What's going on? Can he fix it in time for me to DJ at the music festival? No. What? 
Now! What? Are you sure? Yes. Hey, guys, I don't know if you've heard, but I've gone deaf. You what? What? Oh, your ear crippled? I can't hear you, Joe. Here's a bag of alphabets. Please spell out what you're saying. You know, that's a good idea. What the hell do you want? You told us you were a big shot DJ and didn't want anything to do with us. Forget it. You told us to go to hell. Well, now you can go to hell. Oh, great. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. No, we said no. What? Hey, Stella, can I ask you something? When you went deaf, did your other senses get better? No, that's a common myth. Chances are you'll be hit by a bus in the first three months. <sighs> you know, the worst part of all of this is I lost my friends. I was a complete jerk to them. I don't blame them for not wanting to help me. What are you guys doing here? Handler. Peter, that's the wrong track. Yeah, pretty good stuff, huh? Chapter one. Stuff I can fit in my lady place. Brother brand all-in-one fax scanner color copier with phone attachment. Yup! Well, bad news. Because of that audio book fiasco, I got fired from the club. Hey, what's with your voice? Did you get your hearing back? Yeah, it's okay. I just appreciate that you guys would air for me and tried to help me out. Especially after I've been such a jerk to you. I got him. Oh, yeah, you got him all, Joe. We didn't even put quarters in the game. He don't know. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, you guys. And Esther, I'm so sorry you ripped your perineum doing the hooky. Let's see what Meg got me. A crock pot? <gasps> Things about to get crazy! Wait, wait, you. What's your name? Me? Meg Griffin. Would you mind standing up? Whoa, what, what are you doing? My God, the magic ratio. Okay, sure, what the heck? Here, take my card. I am a registered sex offender. Flip it over. Important, see other side. I can't believe it, you guys. This is the biggest surprise since the last M. Night Shyamalan movie. Problem, and I'm gonna take some pictures of the other athletes, if you don't mind. You might not know this about me, but I am a bit of a shutterbug. How about we start with some warm-ups? Bend down and touch your toes. Well, we need five for a team, and there's five of you here, so congratulations. Wow, this is awesome. I can't believe I'm a Quahog thug. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first bout of the season, the Quahog thugs versus the Medford dump cakes. <laughs> Way to go, Meg! Wow! Make some noise if you're mixing prescription drugs with alcohol! <laughs> Meg! Boy, that was rough. This sport's even more dangerous than skeet shooting. Pull! I got in the wrong line! Oh, Chris, I'm glad you're here. Swing that lamp at me. But you'll get hurt. No, I won't. I'm gonna dodge it. <laughs> what? No. No, I, I love roller derby. It's the first thing I'm really good at. Plus, I love making other women bleed. But, you know, in ways besides the way, you know, they normally bleed. Like when you give a young athlete too much money. I, I gotta murder somebody. Oh, no, this is bad. Chris, what are you doing? Saving my son! Ah! Oh, my God! Chris, are you okay? Run like a man, you get a suit. Uh, no. But, Dr. Hartman, is my brother gonna be okay? That's her, that's her! Hi, Juanita! Hello, Doctor. No, Meg. I got hurt because I didn't belong out there. But you do. I watched you skate. 
You found your calling, and I believe in you. Now get back to that rink and help your team win the championship it deserves. Nude, Meg returned to the roller derby arena. I think she did all right, but no one will know for sure. Because halfway through, everyone's...